Now, KCTV5 stands for you. We have been tracking the vaccine rollout in Kansas City. We're pushing for answers on which communities are getting the vaccine and when. KCTV5's Abby Dodge is live for us now at the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum with some new data from the state. Abby, that data you found today shows a clear discrepancy here between white and black communities, doesn't it? It sure does, Carolyn, and the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum is actively trying to close that vaccine gap. They're going to host a vaccine clinic here every Monday for the foreseeable future. The museum president says he hopes the numbers we're about to share with you become more equitable with their help. Missouri is slowly seeing more vaccination sites in urban areas after months of pressure from local leaders. The Negro Leagues Baseball Museum hopes the extra people it can vaccinate each week makes a difference in the 18th and Vine community. We've always viewed ourselves as a valued community resource. From the diamond to doses. Saying, oh, is this going to be at the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum? Maybe that makes it a little less threatening. That's great. I hope it does. And people will come in and take advantage of these life-saving measures. The state says more than 71,000 people are vaccinated in Kansas City as of last week. 11.6% of vaccinated citizens are black, but the black community makes up 28% of Kansas City based on most recent census data. On the other hand, just over 50% of people vaccinated are white. Census data says white people make up 60% of Kansas City. And that's typical. You know, sadly, it is so typical. And that's why I think it was so necessary that we try to bridge the disparity gap. The mayor's office says they're targeting low life expectancy areas through vaccine clinic partnerships with Walmart and the YMCA. It just means that we are providing even more access and can get more people healthy and safe and keep them that way. We're going to continue to ask the state for those weekly vaccine data updates from them, and then we'll make sure to relay that information to you. Live in Kansas City, Abby Dodge, KC TV5 News.